Okie dokes and welcome! Today <laughs> I would like to show you um, a rod or three rods actually um, a rod, uh, a line of rods which um, we are very happy to um, have secured a few of the second batch that has uh, come into the UK the first batch was sold out really quickly about half a year ago or so um, we've done quite a few pre-orders of them they are all out I've put them all out um, I've, I've dispatched them all on Thursday so hopefully they should all be with you um, thanks for pre-ordering let me know if you got them show us what you caught on them um, we are talking about the HTO Nebula light gamer we have got three different models we've got the one to seven grams, the two to 10 grams, and the three to 15 grams. Yeah, that's the three to 15. This is the two to 10. <coughs> they are all 218 centimeters or 2.18 meters or 7.1 feet. Um, off the first batch, I managed to secure myself the 15 gram um, version which is still here and rigged up actually from my last session and has become one of my absolute go-to um, go to rods which is one of the reasons that I really want to get a few more in for the um, of the second batch and tell you a little bit about them so 15 gram rods um, last session I had with them I had a really nice bass out um, which is actually still the same lure on there that I caught the bass on. So that's a four inch, there we go, impact check from Kitek on a three and a half gram jig head on a, on a decoy, on an offset, a VJ36. So even though I've got the 15 gram uh, version here, you can see light weights are very, very well, um, cast very, very well with this. I mean, I've I chuck this absolute mild, um, which is the first thing I want to tell you about this rod. We have, or I have found out um, fishing this rod for some months now, it's an absolute casting miracle. So um, I've had a good chat with Adam Kirby, um, who played a major role in um, designing the rods um, together with HTO. Um, Action wise, so first of all, um, Nebula, we all know the Nebulas, they've been on the market for some time. The Light Gamers um, are in this similar direction, blank wise, really nice and fast, very incredibly light. They feel like an absolutely, like, um, like an absolute hyper 400, uh, 400 quid rod, and they are 140, I believe. So, um, absolute premium feeling for really good price. Um, incredibly light, action-wise, if I can show you as well as I can. Um, we don't have an only tip action here, so we've got slightly more, maybe a third of the rod, yeah, bending, um, which really, really helps with the distance of casting. And at the same time, they have managed, um, because of the high carbon content, they have managed to really have, um, keep that um, reset time down, which is quite hard to show on camera, but it's basically the time when you jig. So for me personally, I'm someone who jigs a lot for a lot of species. I jig for bass, I jig for perch, I jig for zen, I even jig for pike. Um, a lot of times because I just I'm addicted to these um, bites on the drop that's one of the main things why I go out there fishing is a bite on the drop um, so obviously when you put a lot of movement in the rod when you jig um, you want the rod to stay or stand still fairly quickly because that's the crucial time when the bite comes so you move one two three how many jigs or however many jigs you do and then you hold your rod still 
and you're waiting for the bite in that dropping phase which might only be a couple of seconds long and you can't have a rock that wobbles around during that time because you will miss bites. So um, even though we don't have an only tippy action, they have uh, managed with a very high carbon content to have that reset time or, or recovery time I would maybe call it. I'm not sure um, what the expert word in English is for that. Um, very, very low which is absolutely amazing. So yeah, um, we've got Fuji all along, we've got Fuji Real Seed, we've got um, Fuji Alkanite Guides and we have as an extra special, as an extra add-on, which um, was also Adam's idea as far as I know, we have a little upgraded um, tip ring um, with um, silicon carbon, um, so SIC or SIC um, guide, which is super super smooth so the reason why they didn't do the whole rod like that is obviously the price so could have done it but then i, I don't want to say numbers because i don't know but it would have been a lot more expensive so they decided um to only go with the most important guide the tip guide and it really really reflects in distance of casting sensitivity and especially on the light one, um, if you imagine you are fishing really, really light lures, um, let's say you're fishing a one gram lure on this, or even on the 15 gram one, if you're fishing, um, for example, I remember I was fishing a weightless three and a half uh, high Kigani craw, which, I, which I've done, I rigged on the, on the backslide rig and I was trying, I was on the Thames and I was trying to get underneath some boats on the far bank. It was a very sunny day, so I was, I'm um, expecting the perch to sit underneath the boats and I mean total that was maybe a four and a half five gram and um, that lure and it absolutely flew and one of the reasons is definitely um, that and on the other hand if you imagine you've got a one gram lure and you want to fish just right below you so all you have is the the weight of the lure um, pulling the line you want this very 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 smooth um, material um, and it'll give you a lot of sensitivity as well if you're fishing like this. So that is a great idea. I have been told it's um, a little um, a, li a little pointer to old mega bass rods which apparently um, did that to um, not absolutely go up in price and have um, SIC all the way through but um, have that on, on the tip. So yeah, um, we've got the 1 to 7, 2 to 10 and 3 to 15 grams. Um, let's see what they weigh. So we've got the, don't forget it's a 7 footer. No, it's not touching anywhere is it? No. Ninety-two grams for a seven footer, not bad at all. Um, up to seven grams, under hundred grams, fantastic. Ninety-six for the ten gram model. and 100 exactly on the 15 gram. So the, the lightness of these rods is why um, you can fish them with fairly small reels as well. So the 15 gram, I am actually fishing with a 1000 reel or with a two and a half. Most of the time with a 1000 actually, it kind of feels better. Um, if you look at um, where we want them, I like to have them balanced just like where about my middle finger is or my, 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 my pointer. Um, when I fish and I fish the real seed in between oh, the ring finger and the my pinky and this is about where it would be and then we've got a lovely balance with this Stratic um, 1000 and um, two and a half thousand um, I put on here if I fish for slightly bigger fish and I want a slightly thicker line on there so yeah that's it the absolutely amazing rods we still have a few left link will be in the description don't forget we have integrated clear pay now as well on the website 
which gives you the chance to pay in four installments, I believe, three or four, I think it's four installments. Um, if you are, if you want to uh, spread the the payments, which is always a great um, op option to have um, for rods, etc. Et I think, um, yeah, if if you are interested in listening to more of these kind of um, product um, descriptions or presentations, uh, we also do rigs sometimes, um, every now and then a proper fishing session where we take the camera um, to the bank, hopefully more in future. Subscribe. Um, if you have any questions on this, please drop us a comment um, underneath and we will come back to you. And yeah, that's it, tight lines. Spring is here, summer is just around the corner and we're all feeling great, I hope, and catch some chunks. <laughs>